Tension SSI and SSDI recipients. Tomorrow, Social Security is depositing $4,700 into your bank accounts. This video will give you all the details you need about these payments who is eligible find out if you're one of the people receiving this payment. Impact on benefits Learn how this payment might affect your existing benefits and financial situation. Payment arrival Get the latest information on when and how the funds will be deposited. Steps to take Discover what actions you should take to ensure you receive your payment smoothly and address any issues if they arise. Make sure you're ready for this important deposit and understand how it fits into your overall financial planning. Don't miss this crucial update. In July, more than 51.2 million retired workers received an average Social Security check of $1,919.40. Social Security, a cornerstone of American retirement planning, was established in August 1935 and issued its first retirement benefits in January 1940. Since then, it has become a crucial financial support for countless aging Americans. Over the past 23 years, Gallup has conducted surveys to gauge how retirees depend on their Social Security benefits. Each year, the results reveal a significant reliance on these payments between 80% and 90% of retirees report that their monthly Social Security check is essential for covering at least some of their living expenses. This data underscores the program's importance in maintaining financial stability for retirees across the country. As we approach the annual announcement of the Cost of Living Adjustment COLA, excitement and anticipation build among retirees. This adjustment, which accounts for inflation and helps maintain the purchasing power of Social Security benefits, will be revealed on October 10, 2024. For retirees, this adjustment is not just a figure, it's a critical update that can significantly impact their financial well-being, making the announcement one of the most awaited events of the year. Social Security's Cost of Living Adjustment, or COLA, is a vital feature that ensures benefits keep up with inflation. This adjustment helps retirees maintain their purchasing power by aligning their Social Security payments with changes in the cost of living. Think about it this way, if the cost of the goods and services you buy increases by 5% from one year to the next, you'd naturally want your income to rise by the same 5% to keep up with these higher costs. That's what COLA does for Social Security beneficiaries. It adjusts their benefits to account for inflation, so they don't lose purchasing power as prices go up. The history of COLAs is quite interesting. When Social Security first began mailing retirement checks in January 1940, there were no regular cost-of-living adjustments. For the first few decades, COLAs were sporadic and determined by special sessions of Congress. During the 1940s, no adjustments were made at all. It wasn't until 1950 that the program began to make occasional adjustments, and between 1950 and 1974, a total of 11 COLAs were implemented. In 1975, a significant change occurred with the introduction of automatic annual COLAs based on the Consumer Price Index CPI. This shift aimed to provide more consistent and predictable adjustments, reflecting changes in the cost of living without the need for special congressional action. Today COLAs are announced annually, usually in October, and are based on inflation rates from the previous year. This ensures that Social Security benefits keep pace with the rising cost of living, helping retirees maintain their standard of living despite economic changes. Since 1975, Social Security's Cost of Living Adjustment COLA has been based on the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers CPIW. This index tracks changes in the cost of living by monitoring a range of spending categories, each with its own weight. The CPIW encompasses various major categories and subcategories, and these weightings are combined into a single figure each month. This figure makes it easy to compare year-over-year -year changes in prices, helping to identify trends in inflation or deflation. Although the CPIW is updated monthly, the COLA calculation uses the average CPIW readings from the third quarter of the year specifically from July through September. To determine the annual COLA, officials compare these third quarter readings to the average readings from the same months in the previous year. If the average CPIW for the current third quarter is higher than that of the previous year, it indicates an increase in the cost of living, prompting a corresponding rise in Social Security benefits for the following year. In simpler terms, the percentage increase in the average CPIW readings from July to September, when compared year over year, decides how much Social Security benefits will rise. This adjustment ensures that benefits keep pace with inflation, maintaining the purchasing power of retirees, 
Since 2010, Social Security's cost of living adjustments colas have been relatively modest. Over this period, there have been 10 years where the colas were 2% or lower, including the record low adjustment of just 0.3% in 2017. Additionally, there were three years minus 2010, 2011, and 2016 when no COLA was applied due to deflation. However, this trend has changed significantly in recent years. In 2022, 2023, and 2024, Social Security made notable adjustments to benefits with COLAs of 5.9%, 8.7%, and 3.2%, respectively. These increases are considerably higher than the 2.6% average COLA over the past two decades. The 8.7% adjustment in 2023 was especially significant, marking the largest percentage increase in 41 years. This shift represents a substantial improvement in the adjustments made to Social Security benefits, reflecting a response to rising living costs and providing much-needed relief to retirees. After the release of the July Inflation Report, the Senior Citizens League TSCL, a nonpartisan advocacy group for seniors, has updated its forecast for Social Security's 2025 cost of living adjustment COLA to 2.57%, which rounds up to 2.6%. This new forecast is quite consistent with its earlier prediction of 2.63% following the June inflation report and mirrors its 2.57% estimate from May. In the meantime, Mary Johnson, an independent Social Security and Medicare policy analyst who recently retired from TSCL, has revised her 2025 COLA forecast downward for the third month in a row. Her updated prediction also stands at 2.6%, aligning closely with TSCL's estimate. If you're a recipient of Supplemental Security Income SSI or Social Security Disability Insurance SSDI, we have some exciting news to share. Starting tomorrow, a significant payment of $4,700 is set to land in your bank account. This video will provide you with all the details you need to know about this payment, including eligibility, how and when you will receive it, and what you should do if you encounter any issues. The $4,700 payment is part of a new initiative designed to offer additional financial support to individuals who rely on Social Security benefits. This one-time boost is meant to help beneficiaries manage their expenses and improve their overall financial stability. But for many, this payment can make a substantial difference, especially if you've been facing increased living costs or unexpected financial challenges. To be eligible for this payment, you must be currently receiving SSI or SSDI benefits. Supplemental Security Income provides financial assistance to low-income individuals who are aged, blind, or disabled, while Social Security Disability Insurance offers benefits to those who are unable to work due to a disability and who have paid into Social Security through their work history. If you fit either of these criteria, you should automatically receive the $4,700 payment. The payment will be issued directly to the bank account you have on file with the Social Security Administration SSA. It's essential to ensure that your bank account information is current to avoid any delays. The payment is scheduled to arrive tomorrow, so make sure to check your bank account on that date to confirm the deposit. If you do not see the payment in your account by the end of the day, double-check that your bank account details are correct. In rare cases, a paper check might be issued, so it's worth checking your mail as well. Receiving this additional $4,700 can significantly impact your financial situation. It could help cover essential expenses such as rent, utilities, groceries, and medical bills. This payment provides an opportunity to alleviate some of the financial pressures you may be facing and could also serve as an emergency fund if you have outstanding debts or unexpected expenses. Additionally, consider using part of this payment to build up your savings or create a budget for future needs. Having a financial safety net can offer peace of mind and help you plan for unforeseen circumstances. If you don't receive the payment as expected, first verify that your bank account information with the SSA is correct. If everything seems in order but you still haven't received the payment, contact the SSA for assistance. You can reach them through their official website or by phone. Additionally, keep an eye on your mail in case a paper check has been issued instead of a direct deposit. Addressing common questions, this $4,700 payment is separate from your regular SSI or SSDI benefits and will not impact your monthly payments. There's no need to apply for this payment if you are already receiving benefits, you will automatically receive this boost. 
If you do not see the payment by the end of tomorrow, check your bank account again the next day and reach out to the SSA if necessary. To make the most of your $4,700 payment, consider creating a budget to allocate the funds towards essential expenses, debt reduction, and savings. Prioritize your spending to ensure that you address immediate needs and make effective use of this financial boost. If you need advice on managing your finances, consider consulting a financial advisor or counselor who can provide personalized guidance.